Rising stars. Yep, that's the key word these days. Anyone with a good amount of talent can easily try their luck in Hollywood. But what happens when that luck turns to a terrible fate? Sounds like a mystery, doesn't it, guys? And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Welcome to Wow Factory, guys. You'd better subscribe to the channel right now. And of course, you have to hit the like and share button. Isn't that obvious? Share this video with all of your friends and stay up to date only on the Wow Factory. Trust me, you'll win at those conversations with much ease if you stay hooked with me. Coming back to the mystery, 2020, among other real bad stuff, took away a very promising young star amongst us. You may not be a fan of his, but you can't deny his talent. He is none other than Pop Smoke, an American rapper, singer, and songwriter who shot to fame with his single, Welcome to the Party, in 2019. If you are a regular at clubs, I'm sure you've grooved to his numbers. But sadly, in February, the rapper was shot and killed early morning as he was renting his home in the dreamy hills of Hollywood. But why would anyone do that? Was there a motive? Um, smells really fishy. Find out all about this and more with me here. So how did the killer find out his exact address? I mean, you guys all know how private celebrities are about their whereabouts, right? Fans and internet investigators initially believed Pop Smoke's death was the result of a robbery gone wrong. I mean, that is pretty common in that part of the country, you know? But something really surprising has come out after all this time. Apparently, Pop Smoke had posted photos on social media showing large amounts of money, designer goods, and a luxury car. The rapper also posted a story on Instagram and Facebook of designer bags, and the house's full address could be read on the packaging. Was that how the address was leaked online? Oh my gosh, talk about safety, right? Was the death gang-related? Oh, this sounds exactly like the gangster films, except it's way more tragic in real life. Unfortunately, all the accused men were covered in black masks when they broke into the singer's home. Since there were three suspicious men on spot, officials are still considering a gangster group behind all of this. Thank gosh, real and real are different, isn't it, guys? What do you think? No matter the exact cause, the family still grieves for this young rapper who could have given us much more than a few single hits. But at least you'll be glad to know that the two accused have been charged with proper punishment. Now that's what I call justice served. So what do you think about this video, guys? Drop your comments, because I would be super happy to know your opinions. Also, if you want me to cover any particular topic, don't forget to let me know. I am no mind reader. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.